Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to be playing Tales of Arise. Now apparently this is a, a really popular JRPG series. I don't think the games necessarily follow one from each other, a bit like the Final Fantasies, but it's got a really good, a really large following. And I've never played any of the previous games before, so this is my first entry into the series. I've heard it's really good. Let's do it, baby. Right. I think we'll play on normal. Q and time. Adjust the Q and time for button inputs when launching attack combos. Right, we'll just leave, I think we'll leave a vibration off. I like to have a movable map. Yeah, we'll leave them on. Subtitles, yes. Right, I don't, I don't know what any of this shit is. Battle camera reset view. Set whether the camera automatically resets when a target enemy moves outside of its view in battle. Okay. I think everything's good to be honest. Right, save and begin. Let's do it. It's a bit weird because you couldn't access the normal options menu from like the menu. You had to go to new game first. What the hell? Whose design choice was that? In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zugles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. So they, these seem like a nice bunch. <laughs> I will crush them. See the size of the barrel, tiny little kid. You call that pushing? Put some back into it, embedded. <gasps> embedded? I wonder if that's got to do with a gem on his hand. Uh, iron mask? Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All with- Alright! Thirst 
squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Hey, wait for me! The Man in the Iron Mask. That was a good movie, that. Shot say you nodded a cup. Iron mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron mask, you you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. So is that me, is it? Am I yes. I'm Iron Man, Iron Mask. Ask the doc to treat you. Your next destination is marked with a star symbol. The number is the distance to the destination. Alright, happy days. Alright, little brother. Ah, oh, it's not all voice. That's okay, that's okay. I'm so sorry, Iron Mask. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. But that's why Doc tells you to be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, and by the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you, and I don't regret a thing. But don't sweat it, Cole. He's called Cole. Cheers, Iron Mask. I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. I don't know if it's just me, but the camera shoved so far up my ass, I can't really see what I'm doing. All right, mate. Ah, uh, you again. Yeah, he's got one on his hand as well. Sorry I haven't got one. You, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. Oh, that old no chestnut. Face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. Okay. Can't what feel pain. Do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, You'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? If only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that. But I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. I think it's time for a rebellion. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. I'm surprised the gods would even let me walk about with a mask. Guess I'll go back to my room. Oh, that's better. I like how the camera zoomed out. I didn't like it when it was over the shoulder. Like, I couldn't see anything. The navigation map in the upper right corner of the screen shows information about your surroundings. Press X to view a full size map. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, so... So that's where I've got to go. I'll tell you what, why don't we go left and explore this, um, question mark? What are you doing? Nobody said you could wander around embedded. I can't go that way. Am I going to go this way? Nope. 
Are you okay? Thanks for saving me earlier. Yes. The bright eyes stick these weird stones on our bodies and then work us to the bone until we're dead. Yeah, we'll know what the stones are. As if the routine beatings from them weren't enough, when they're in a really bad mood, they like to sick their zoogles on us. They must be the dogs. I'm a slave, just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or a face, or memories for that matter. Not like worrying about it'll change anything. So the spirit core must be that stone. What are you looking at? You looking to get your ass kicked too? Mate, I'll shove that sword so far up your ass. You'll be able to taste it. They're not moving, damn it. Also, left trigger is um, your objective. Dash right trigger. Toggle run dash left stick in, okay. Oh, you. Wait there. No. I like the hold down, a dash, right trigger. Jump B. Okay, jump. Oh, there's the dog. Oh, it's a shithole in here, it? No matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always find Arena and... Lenergis. Le fuck's his name? Lenergis. Lenergis. Fucking stupid name. I hate it, that's why they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our every move. That... Lenegis. Lenegis, especially as something else. There's no way we can ever hope to beat the Renans when they can build floating castles like that. Like, these people have got nothing to say, to be honest. I should get some rest. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. Something's gonna kick off here and start the rebellion, isn't it? I'm gonna get caught in it. I better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. We might be oh, look, we can get in here now. Oh, wait, there's green things on the map. Are those gods? Oh, the green things are gods. Fair enough. Hey, the game does look kind of good, though. Oh, look, a burning forest. Yeah, they're just completely fucking Great. destroying the land. Another day toiling away for the Renans. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Possibly. But I get around the back. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. The swords they've got are weird. It's not a bladed weapon. It's kind of like a a sword mace. It's probably weighted at the tip. Weighted at the tip. I <laughs> think. But they've got some sort of armadillo pulling the trains. Nice. Yeah, that animation's top quality. She's here! She's not taking any shit, her. Come back.
Why, wow, she's got some power here. I wonder if she's gonna fall on the mine. She's gonna fall on here, isn't she? The girl's nowhere to be found. Yeah, this hurts. Hey, Impenage, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> Oh, can this guy see out with that mask? It's just metal. Hey, you're... <laughs> you're damn fine. Over there! Don't move! Go now! Huh? Hurry, get moving! <laughs> Stay still, you cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way, or not. <laughs> Go on, son. These guys are pumping this train manually. There must be some boys like. Oh, my guy's a legend. Huh? I like this guy that can just punch things. Ah, this guy. I, I hope we get to have this guy in our party. Come on. Where you go? Hope you can jump. <laughs> what an opener. Yeah, you know what it is when you play a game and you just tell like the quality that's went into it. You can tell it's a quality game. Like from the animation to everything. You all missed your chance to become Lord. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsas. Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion. Yes, yes, sir. Shion, that must be her name. Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord O'Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Valkyris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. This oh, guy's brutal. distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. That smarmy guy in the phone's basically gonna be the like the the boss, isn't he? Uh, 
Where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eye's best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. Hmm. They're interrogating her? Just what the hell is going on? I need to go and find out for myself. If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. Aha! Yeah, because some of the speech bubbles have got like an exclamation mark on them, but we've never been able to do anything with it previously. Who are you fighting? The Renans ruling over Calaglia. The ones that came down from Lenegus. I've been given us hell for the last three centuries. Of course we can't even reach neighbouring towns, much less Lenegus. So our current target is the Renans in Calaglia and their Lord Balseth. If you want to know something, I'll tell you what I can. I'm good, thanks. We'll just learn it as we play. Right, so talking to people is worthless, which is good, because I don't want to be talking to people all the time. Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? Oh, so she's Find not necessarily awake, huh? What's going doing on? it on purpose. What did she ever mind your business? So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you, Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname, which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, oh, really? She's being chased by Renan soldiers. So then why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danon from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, Bright Eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. The scar's a reminder. Not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is... We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. Do you think this curse is some kind of great ability? <laughs> curse. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... <laughs> An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate as planned. Hurry! And bring the girl. 
she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask. Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. Come on, I'm looking forward to seeing what the combat's like. Dull Sword 1. Basically Shit Sword 1. Escape the mine. That's pretty linear, let's go. Press start to open the menu where you can save- Ah, oh, you can save it. Oh good, I like how you can hard save anywhere you want. All games should have a manual hard save. This game's ticking all the boxes. Enemy attack! An ambush. Renins are here? I have to find an exit and get the hell out of here. You can't get out this way, you'll have to hurry and find another exit. Why? Anyone who can fight, grab a weapon! Damn! How did they find out about this place? Have these kinds of battles been going on this entire time? I just didn't know. Here we go, big soldier. Right oh, it's just a Denon. You then, where's the Renin girl who was here? Well, I've... <laughs> Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renin armored soldier that way? I'll show you in Benin! This guy's got a proper sword. Level 6. Armored soldier, right. Press right button to perform a normal attack. At first you can string up the three normal attacks together, but by learning certain skills this limit can be increased. Characters can also attack in mid-air after jumping. Arts are special actions provide performed by spending part of your art gauge, so your mana. Press Y X or A to use the art assigned each button. While AG will gradually restore automatically, it will restore more slowly when attacking. <laughs> Pardon me. Push left stick and press right trigger to evade an enemy attack. You time it as well as an enemy attack is approaching, you'll perform a perfect evasion allowing you to avoid taking any damage. Talk or die. So much for playing nice. Alright, we're up. You're finished! Rise Wyvern. Fight still. I have to do this. I won't go quietly! Oh, wait, I wanna do the dodge. Try harder. Oh Take yes! You're finished! Oh he's got two hits! Get wrecked! I won! I actually beat one of those Renin soldiers. Nice. I've got to keep They're going. Not that hard. I have to survive this no matter what. I don't know if there's any like loot to collect. Oh, there is. What's Apple this? gel. Rub it on your penis. Don't try and take any armored soldiers yourself. You don't have a chance of winning. Uh, wrong. Dogs. I like how every combat instance actually. What's this guy doing? Oh, how do I change lock on? Left bumper. Okay, that's good. Oh, fuck. Now, if I like the lock on system, to be honest, I think it's a bit weird. Wait there, where's there? Where's my health? Oh, I don't have a health gauge because it must be the tutorial. Oh, 
Piercing Wyvern! Burn it down! Oh, so look, I can knock that guy in the sky with a rising wyvern. That's cool. That didn't work that time, like. You can actually use your skills, like, really often. The gauge restores so fast. He is. Leon V. Mare, I Maris Daymor. I hereby detain you in the name of His Excellency Lord Balsam. Damn it! Throw down I was your so weapon. close. <laughs> what the? You've got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers. You're shut up and get out of here while you still can. Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. Every time we hear Denon, it just reminds me of a Laura Denon from a... Um, oh, Mad Morrigan. I forgot what the, the movie's called, it's so good. Combos are actions strung together with no gaps. Normal attacks have a set limit, while arts can continue until AG runs out. Normal attacks count separately on the ground and in the air. Using an article between them can thus extend the combo. Okay. Diminish and returns. During the combo, if the same art is used multiple times within four actions, its penetration will decrease and enemies will recover from it sooner. Continue doing so will raise the penalties, making art half as effective as their harshest. Word to the wise, I call my own shots. Just stay out of my way and we'll get along quite well. <laughs> kind of new for me if you hadn't noticed. Don't expect any promises. Also, you can use Ryzen Wyvern and Swallow Blade. The only thing is, the dodge isn't instant. It's one thing you gotta be careful the dodge doesn't cancel attacks. So you're caught in animations once you use them. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some... What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. Don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like. Wait, you really can't feel pain? Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face. No memories. I only know one thing about myself. And that's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? Does she follow me about? We're going in. I can't move. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, she disappears. Also, look, we're back over the shoulder. I think when there's no more combat and things, it goes to like shoulder view for a more cinematic experience. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape. But I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on.
Stay where you are, dissidents. Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? <laughs> Apprehend the traitor! Slaughter the rest! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, the fucking got her. Sion! Sion! What the fuck's this? A blazing sword? But how? Impossible. The Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Master! I mean, I can't complain, so every time I want to have a shot of that, I just have to grab between our okay? keys. Fair enough. Your arms! <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not an agony? Smells like bacon. Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. Oh, very nice. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place, or would want to. Up that way, I always use it all the time. Amazing sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, 
I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> hmm. You befriended Shion. Zephyr has teamed with your party. Oh, is that the guy with the, the fists? Shion's fighting style. She specializes in gun based long range strikes and astral art. Use her to hit enemies from a safe distance and use healing art on allies with low HP. Healing art costs CP to use, so mind your CP total. I don't know what that is. When auto mode is enabled, Shion will primarily target flying and astral art wielding enemies, as well as foes with lower HP during combat. Sounds good to me. Oh, cure points. Arts with healing and support effects consume cure points in addition to AG. CP is shared across the party and can be restored with items or by staying at an inn or campground. It can be raised by leveling up or finding specific items. Right, I think we're good. Get away from the mine. I do love um, like GRPG worlds, they're so epic, look at that, see that's the problem, imagine how you're a slave here, imagine just being worked to the bone while being able to see just like a different planet, that would give people hope wouldn't it, to escape, and it would also make them suffer knowing that they'll probably never ever leave and see another place. Land of Brimstone and Swirling Ash, Orbus Calag Calagia. Calaglia. That's Glanamede Castle. Stronghold of Lord Balsef. Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, alright. And next to it are the gates of fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. Let's do it. First off, let's see. Wait, what have I done here? Be careful. If you get Dogs. close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Making contact with an enemy icon will initiate a battle. Defeating all of the enemies in a given fight will earn you experience and other rewards, but be careful if all characters on your side are... Well, fucking missed it, didn't I? <laughs> right. Changing controls. Press start while in the menu to change your character's control mode. Semi-auto automatically moves until in attack range. Now nah, I just want to play it be on a um, full manual. Semi-auto mode is designed for players who only wish to casually dabble in combat. Now nah, I want full control. I want it all. Oh wait, there, I need to fix. Oh shit, I haven't got much health. Yeah, I've just realized I haven't got much health at all. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. How do we heal? Wait there, where am I? Wait there, I don't know. I've got full health. So what was that red bar on screen? Oh, did I mistake it with an enemy's health bar? 
I don't know, sometimes I don't know, the, the menu is a bit confusing at the minute. You can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. I want to fight this thing. I'll take you all on. Get wrecked. His weak point was on his back. I can feel my precision improving. Level up, beast. Do we get art? You can assign art that you've learned at each of the different buttons. You can set three arts to use while on the ground, plus an additional three arts to use in the air. Press left trigger or right trigger to inspect the arts you have available. Right here. Aerial attack. Strike straight below while descending from above. Oh, so that's the one I use in the air. Oh, I get it. Right. Oh, and she can heal us. Aim, um, resurrect us. Now, wait there. Count 20 out of 100. Is that how many times I've used it? Maybe it levels up once you use it a certain amount of times. The same with her. First aid, she's used it once. She used that eight times. She's never used resurrection. Huh. That's pretty cool, although I didn't really understand it yet. I've got nothing. Strategy. Strategies determine how your party operates in combat. On the strategy screen, press white to view details about each strategy and adjust them. Right, okay. Oh, so it's, it's, it's one, two, three, and four. Now wait there. Oh, so wait there, that's default tactics. Wait there, shit, oh shit, I need the fucking help again. I wish I'd read that tutorial, I fucked it. Where's the fucking tactics? Fuck's sake, man. Strategy, sorry. Check your main story and that. Strategy. Strategies. Right. White view details about each strategy and adjust them. Up to four strategies can be saved. During battles, open the menu and press Y to switch between them. Ah, press Y to switch between them. That's what I need to know. We definitely want people to fight aggressively. Focus on healing. Save your CP. And go all out on bosses. Right, let's go. I just want people to fight aggressively. The faster we take down enemies, the better for us.
Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Camp and out. Resting at a campground will restore your party's HP and CP while resting you can watch skits and cutscenes that you previously viewed. Normally we should take turns standing guard, but this first time I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. We'll just rest. A master core, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? What the hell have you not been listening oh, to me? Right, you don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years. Ah, oh, get us it. Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the Master Cores are the receptacles in which the Lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time?! Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Core? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Core's astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Sounds like a plan. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. I love how the Japanese use that phrase. Well, cut as of the far jib. As we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. 
But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah. There's a lot of JRPGs that use um, when English voice actors use I don't like the cut of your jib. It's like a I would say it's a pretty rare English saying. You only get it in some parts of the country. As well, I like how they use the. We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. The um, I forgot what it's called, the astral globe or whatever she's got inside of her tits. They blatantly put it there just as an excuse to keep putting the camera on her tits. It's so funny. Power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. Okay, so we got some ore. I'll tell you what. I think. How big is this area? Quite big. I'll tell you what. Why don't we call it an episode there? Can we keep resting? That we can. Ah, we can rest anytime we want. Awesome. So I'm wondering. I hope I don't have to grind in this RPG. But it looks like if we did have to, I don't know if you. Every time you camp, do enemies respawn? So you keep fighting it, enemies in a certain area. But um, let's make a hard save. Done. Okay. So that's it, lads. First episode of Tales of Arise. It's good. It feels good. The graphics are nice. The cutscenes are awesome. And uh, it's actually got us a little bit intrigued. I'm looking forward to seeing how this how this plays out. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.